Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we are taking a look at the Apple TV and we're gonna be checking out the accessibility features for the visually impaired. So we actually have quite a few helpful accessibility options on Apple TVs, including some of our favorites, uh, VoiceOver and the Zoom magnifier. So to find those, first we need to navigate down to the settings. And about halfway down in the list, you'll find accessibility. Okay, I've gone ahead and turned voiceover on so you guys will be able to hear the menu options. But the first one is indeed voiceover. Voiceover on, one of two. And in the voiceover section here, we have a lot of settings that we can adjust. Voiceover help, button, navigation style. Direct top, verbosity, button, speech, voice, speech rate, pronunciations, button, two, speech rate, 59%, button, three of four. So you see a lot of the ones that we're used to on other devices like iPhones and iPads. Vision, voiceover, on, button, one of seven, zoom, on, button, two of seven. So we also have the zoom magnifier and I've got it already turned on. You get some information down here at the bottom on how to use zoom on the Apple TV, but we'll come back to that in a second. Display accommodations, off, button, three of seven. Display accommodations, in there you can adjust the colors and even light sensitivity. Bold text, on, four of seven. Increase contrast, button, five of seven. Then you have a couple options for low vision, so you can bold the text, which I have that turned on, and you can increase contrast. Motion, button, Motion. Six of seven. Motion is another visual low vision option. Six of audio descriptions, off, seven of seven. And then we have audio descriptions. So if this is turned on, as you're watching content, if audio descriptions are available, it will automatically play those. So this could be a very good option for some of you guys out there. Accessibility, sh mono audio, general. Accessibility shortcut, voiceover, button, one of one. Triple click menu four, selected, voiceover, one of five. So then you have the accessibility shortcut, and it's a triple click of either the menu button or the back button, depending on what generation of Apple TV you're using. You have a whole list of options here you can choose from. I've got it set to voiceover because that's one that I'm gonna be using the most, but you can choose any one of these here. But what it is, is it allows you to quickly toggle on and off one of these options by triple clicking that button. So as you see here, if I triple click my button, click, click, click. Voiceover off. We've turned off voiceover, click, click, click. Voiceover on. Turns Select it back on. Voiceover, one of five. Now voiceover obviously works just like it does on other Apple devices. As you highlight a certain item, it will read that out loud. Music, row two, column three, podcasts. Row two, Netflix. Row three, column four. Another benefit of voiceover though is if you are inside of an app like Netflix, it will read all that information as well. So if you have the zoom magnifier turned on like I do, in order to zoom in on your screen, you're gonna take two fingers and double tap and slide up or down on your touchpad. It's very similar to the gesture on an iPhone or an iPad where you use three fingers, double tap and slide. So double tap, 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 and slide up, slide down to adjust the size of the magnification. When you are zoomed in, the focus follows your indicator box here. So if I swipe to the right, or excuse me, left, it goes with it. If I go down, it goes with it and follows it along. If I wanted to look at a different part of the screen, very easy, I just tap the touch panel here with two fingers. A little notification pops up letting me know that I'm in pan mode. And now if I just take one finger, I can slide around. And you get a little visual indicator of where you are on the screen there. To get out of the pan mode, once again, two finger tap. Now we're out of the pan mode and we're following the focus again. To zoom out, once again, double tap two fingers and slide down. So that is the accessibility options for the blind and visually impaired available on the Apple TV. One last thing I will mention that can be very helpful is 
the integration of Siri through the remote. So you can press and hold the Siri button here on the remote and give Siri commands like open Netflix, search for the blind life on YouTube. You can give these commands and she will do the hard work for you. So definitely utilize Siri on the Apple TV. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this Apple TV accessibility or anything Apple TV, please let me know in the comments down below. If you'd like to learn how to cast your iPhone or iPad screen onto your Apple TV so you can see your iPhone or iPad screen on a much larger television screen, check out that video popping out of the corner right there or also located in the description down below. But that's it guys, as always, Sam with The Blind Life. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.